Hey everybody, Dom here. In the game Team Fortress 2, the engineer class erects buildings. The speed at which he erects buildings can be improved by hitting the buildings with his melee weapon while they're erecting. Besides being able to improve their own building's erection times, engineers can also improve the erection times of buildings created by other engineers. This means two or more engineers can work together to erect buildings faster than any one of them can do by themselves. In this video, we're going to count the frames and plot the improvement in erection times granted by multiple engineers whacking a single building. Let's begin. Here we are on item test. Any map can be used for this experiment, but item test is fairly empty, easy to run, and has no objectives or timers to deal with. For the first experiment, we're going to get the baseline speed of a single engineer erecting his own building alone. The building we'll be erecting for all the tests is the dispenser. Dispensers take longer to erect than sentries, they're tied with teleporters for erection times. Using a building that takes the most time means that the improvement in erection times will be bigger and easier to see. We'll be erecting dispensers and upgrading them to level 3, their maximum level. Under normal circumstances, to erect a building as fast as possible, the engineer erecting the dispenser would have to go and collect metal midway through their erection. We're trying to create an idealized situation where the engineer's metal resource isn't a factor, so off screen, dispensers have been placed to continuously replenish the engineer. Let's begin the first test. It took 1,361 frames at 60 frames per second to fully erect its dispenser. That's 22.68 seconds. Let's add a helpful engineer bot and try this experiment again. Quick note, bots are controlled via console commands. They're told to continuously fire their weapon at the same time the player engineer clicks to place their building. They start swinging their weapon a fraction of a second after the player places the building. All their actions are a fraction of a second behind, but this discrepancy is insignificant. Bots are far more consistent and reliable to use for these tests than human-controlled engineers. Dispensers have been placed to replenish the bot with metal. For this test, the dispensers are needed so that the bot always has metal and can contribute towards upgrading the buildings with every hit. As the tests go on and more bots are added, the need for the dispensers decreases. They're pointless once there are at least three bots. Let's begin the second test. This time it took 821 frames, or 13.68 seconds, to fully erect this dispenser. That's a 39.68% improvement. So far so good. Time to add another engineer bot and test again. It's difficult to see, but the two bots occupy the same space. This doesn't have any effect on the outcome, it's simply easier to have bots occupy the same space. Under normal circumstances, due to the way the game works, players can block their teammates from striking with their melee weapons. Fortunately, engineers striking engineer buildings with their melee weapons is coded as an exception. No matter how many engineers are inside each other, all of them are able to hit the building. Let's begin the third test. This time, it took 548 frames, or 9.13 seconds, to fully erect this dispenser. That's a 33.25% improvement over the previous test. At this point, it will probably be boring to watch this test be repeated over and over, so to avoid this, the tests have been done off screen. Here are the results. With four engineers, it took 481 frames, or 8.02 seconds, to fully erect this dispenser. That's a 12.23% improvement over the previous test. With five engineers, it took 402 frames, or 6.7 seconds a 16.42% improvement. With 6 engineers, it took 354 frames, or 5.9 seconds, an 11.94% improvement. With 7 engineers, it took 335 frames, or 5.58 seconds, a 5.37% improvement. With 8 engineers, it took 287 frames, or 4.78 seconds, a 14.33% improvement. At 9 engineers, 
an interesting pattern in the data starts to emerge. All erection times with 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 engineers are identical. This range of engineers all takes 208 frames or 3.47 seconds to fully erect this dispenser. The improvement is 27.53% compared to 8 engineers. It's very interesting that in these tests, 16 engineers is effectively just as good as 9 engineers. With 17 engineers, another interesting pattern in the data starts to emerge. All the remaining engineer counts yield identical erection times. In other words, all values from 17 to the maximum player count of 32 engineers causes the dispenser to erect at the same speed. It takes 159 frames, or 2.65 seconds. That's a 23.56% improvement over the 9 to 16 engineer count range. Now that we have the data, let's visualize it on a graph. Here it is. The line slopes down and peters out. This indicates diminishing returns. Adding new engineers improves erection times, but the amount improved decreases. Well, up until the first horizontal line where there is no improvement, and then the second horizontal line where there is also no improvement. Quick intermission before moving on to the next set of tests. Look at all these engineers occupying the same space. There are 31 of them. You can tell there are many engineers despite their animations all being synced up because their combined shadow is extremely opaque. They have an easy to hear combined footstep sound and a loud attacking sound. I'll be quiet for a moment to demonstrate. A truly menacing presence. The engineer has a weapon in his arsenal that can speed up the erecting of buildings. That weapon is called the Jag. The Jag has the attributes construction hit speed boost increased by 30% and plus 15% faster firing speed. Both these lines of text make the Jag excel at faster erections. Let's start all over. Equip ourselves and the engineer boss with a Jag and see how the numbers change compared to using the wrench. In terms of testing methodology, Everything is identical to the previous tests, except all the engineers involved will be using the JAG, and we've switched over to the red team, just for visual variety. The building should erect faster. Let's see just how fast they get up there. Let's begin with a single engineer, jagging his dispenser alone. Dispenser It took 1,161 frames, or 19.35 seconds to erect this dispenser. Before, it took an engineer with the wrench 22.68 seconds. That's a 3.33 second difference. It's 14.68% faster to use the JAG in this situation. Let's stop comparing the wrench and the JAG. For now. We'll come back to it later. Instead, let's continue the tests. Let's start the one engineer and one bot test. It took 676 frames, or 11.27 seconds, to erect this dispenser. That's a 41.77% improvement over the previous test. At this point, it would once again probably be boring to watch this test be repeated over and over. To avoid this, the tests have been done off screen. Here are the results. With three engineers, it took 510 frames, or 8.5 seconds, to fully erect this dispenser. That's of 24.56% improvement over the previous test. With 4 engineers, it took 386 frames, or 6.43 seconds, a 24.31% improvement. With 5 and 6 engineers, it took 345 frames, or 5.75 seconds, a 10.62% improvement. With 7 engineers, it took 333 frames, or 5.55 seconds, a 3.48% improvement. It's a bit weird that 333 frames is exactly 5.55 seconds. Anyways, moving on. With 8 engineers, it took 262 frames, or 4.38 seconds, a 21.32% improvement. Like with the wrench, there are two ranges of engineer counts that produce the same results. 
with 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 engineers, it took 221 frames, or 3.68 seconds, an improvement of 15.65% over having 8 engineers. With 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 engineers, it took 179 frames, or 2.98 seconds, an improvement of 19% over the 9 to 17 engineer count range. Now that we have the data, let's look at the graph again, but this time with the new data included. Here it is. The tests with the wrench are plotted on the dark blue line, and the tests with the jag are plotted on the orange line. The jag starts off faster, and they both improve at about the same rate. At 6 engineers, they start having very similar values. It seems the difference at that value and greater values is negligible. Oddly, the jag is slightly slower at the highest values. Another oddity is the transition to maximum erection speed happens at different values. The wrench hits the maximum speed at 17 engineers, while a jag does at 18 engineers. We now know, under ideal conditions, what happens when multiple engineers come together to lend a hand and help each other out with their building erections. An extra body is useful when you need something erect, but now we have a better understanding of the diminishing returns and at what value things stop improving. Thanks for watching! Au revoir!